Man, I haven't been this excited to make a video about the Chargers in a while. Two-Tone Sports here. Today, we're going to do the Los Angeles Chargers bold predictions for the upcoming season. Yes, I am a Chargers fan located all the way on the other side of the country. And I am on the East Coast. Diehard Chargers fan. Been a Chargers fan for like 20 years now. Been riding with him for the ups and downs. And I'm feeling some ups this year. Let's get into this video. Bold prediction for the Los Angeles Chargers. start here just to throw something in here really quick we had a really good draft class the top three boys you see in this picture round one two and three joe old lad mcconkney junior colson mcconkey however you want to say it i know i mess up his last name all the time we're gonna be talking about these boys so let's start off with the second round pick with big lad why am i excited about him Route running technician all over the place. Look, 30 receptions, 478 yards, two touchdowns in nine games in 2023. Six foot, 180 pounds. Lad was brought in, in my opinion, to replace Keenan Allen. So, what do we think he's going to do? These numbers, we're going over that, ladies and gentlemen. Lad right here you're gonna be hearing third and lad that's herbert's lad I, you're gonna be hearing some crazy stuff mixed with his name i like third and lad third and keenan remember that i know he's on the bears now whatever keenan thank you for everything but lad is going to be justin herbert's favorite target possible wide receiver won by the end of the season I have a stat prediction here for him, too, which might blow you guys away. 89 catches. 985 yards. Eight touchdowns. Call me crazy, guys. Call me absolutely insane. I don't care. He's going to be the re reliable receiver. I think you're going to see him and Palmer out there. I really hope Quentin Johnson turns up this year. Trust me. I really, really, really do. But you're going to get in third and lad. Yeah. Third and lad. I'm telling you. He's going to be consistent. He's going to be out there. I really, really hope he's Keenan's replacement. Moving on to the first round pick. Big boy Joe. This man, six foot nine, 321 pounds, unanimous All American, started all 12 games he played with the Fighting Irish at left tackle. Okay. Pro football focus, top graded offensive tackle with at least 700 snaps. Allowed just one sacks and five total pressures. Right here, Joe Alt is going to be playing right tackle for us. Year one. Remember, these are bold. Year one. Joe Alt, all pro. And what does that mean? I don't think he lets up a single sack all season and just six total pressures. Now, why do we think that? Iron sharpens iron, baby. He's going to be learning from Rashawn Slater, who is much, much smaller than him, so he's going to get more technical. And not only that, this man, this man gets to go against Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa, Bud Dupree, and Tuli Tulupaloto all summer. Between Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack, this man is mwah, chef's kiss out there. 
he should be ready for pretty much any move that's going to be thrown at him. And at 6'9", there's not many people that are going to overpower him. Joe Alt, all pro, no sacks, five or six total pressures. Home run of a first round pick. I still love this. I, I'm all over this. I, I love this. I love every second of this. Moving on to two new additions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. J.K. Dobbins and the Gus Bus. Dobbins obviously needs to stay healthy, but come on. Look, Dobbins has looked electric as a runner. Edwards has a career 4.9 yards per attempt and a 57.4 success rate with the Ravens. Dobbins posted a 5.8 and a 56.8 in the same offense. Why are these boys on the screen? These two are going to combine. Combine. For 16 total touchdowns. Make it 17. I'm sorry. I have 17 written here. Total touchdowns means through the air and on the ground. The Gus Bus is going to get those wheels moving. I'm saying J.K. Dobbins stays healthy. Maybe that Los Angeles weather helps him out a little bit. I don't know. But these two are going to keep that ball moving. We have a right tackle. We bolstered the offensive line. We actually have like a really good line. I'm like so confident in this offset offensive line heading into the season. Like it's insane. Literally insane that I actually, as a Chargers fan, for once have confidence in our offensive line heading into a season. For all you newer Chargers fans, you don't understand the breath of fresh air this gives. Really. Breath of fresh air. Moving on here to another offense alignment. Yeah. That would be Rashawn Slater. This isn't bold. This is just better happen. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my mind. Why is he on the screen? We picked up his fifth year option. And why is Panay Sewell on the screen? Well, they got drafted the same year. Meaning... It's time, baby. But I see well signed signed a four-year contract extension with the Detroit Lions worth $112 million in new money. He received a $42.99 million in fully guaranteed money with a total guaranteed package of $85 million. $15 million signing bonus, salaries of $24 and $25 about 25 million option bonus and 25 is a part of the full guaranteed on the third day of the 2025 league year he will make 19.9 million base salary look at this look at the numbers this is over the cap here you are he is signed through 2029 why is he up here the chargers better make rashawn slater the highest paid left tackle in the league. There's people that still have to get signed. This bar is just going to keep moving up. Now, earlier the better, baby. Earlier the better. He deserves it. He's been our rock. This man is protecting our franchise's blind side in Justin freaking Herbert. It is time to get this man his money. Let's go. Let's go. And honestly, we should really start talking about a Jamari Sawyer extension, possibly. We got to figure that out soon, too. I think maybe we have an extra year. I don't, I don't think they were drafted in the same year. I think we have an extra year, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Moving on to another rookie. Junior Colson. I don't know why I want to keep calling him Junior Carlson. I, it just flows off the tongue easier for me, but Junior Colson. Let's look at this. Ready? Overall, Colson checks a lot of boxes for the next level with his physical downhill athleticism in space and Iron Man toughness that brings to work every day. This is the reason he was drafted. Ready? 
He was the defense's signal caller. He was the man under Jim Harbaugh. We all know where Jim Harbaugh is now. Yeah, he's head coach of the Chargers. Well, the selection of Colson gives the Chargers more depth to a linebacker room that includes Denzel Perryman. Welcome back, Denzel. The Thumper. Henley, Nick Neiman, and Troy Dye. The 21-year-old Colson is listed at 6'2", 238 pounds. Two-time All-Big Ten selection. Okay? Integral part of Michigan's national championship win. This man was all over the field, meaning he tallied 95 tackles, 44 solo. Two tackles for loss and two passes defended in 15 starts. 44 solo is nice. Two tackles for loss. I would like to see him hit the hole a little bit better and earlier, but he's all over the field. My bold prediction, he had 95 tackles in college. He's going to be competing against Denzel Perryman. He's going to have 90 tackles this year as a rookie. The man is going to be all over the field. He is going to lead this defense for the next 10 years at least. He's going to be all over the freaking field being coached by Navarro Bowman, I believe. He is going to be a tackling machine. Machine. Leading into the final piece of the puzzle. One of the most electrifying additions of the offseason. Hello, Jim. Jim Harbaugh. Why are we talking about Jim? Well, in this picture... He won the AP Coach of the Year. This was in 2021. As you guys know, he's on the Chargers now. If you're not living under a uh, rock, he's on the Chargers. Won the chip last year for Michigan. And what is he going to do this year? Jim Harbaugh is going to be your Coach of the Year. Damn right. He is going to turn... The Los Angeles Chargers, from a top six pick, were they five? Top five pick in the NFL draft, to in a 10 and 7 or 11 and 6 NFL team. This man is going to take home the Coach of the Year award in his first year as the head coach for the Los Angeles football chargers yes as you see this is finally a jersey i can rep proudly the off season and season last year was a little rough i cannot lie to you guys the season was rough but here we are i'm ready the offensive line is ready the additions are ready and let's wrap this video up okay let's go to full screen here on two tone sports, I have the Chargers going ten and seven or eleven and six. Big lad is going to be Herbert's favorite target. Eighty nine catches, nine hundred and eighty five yards, and a good amount of touchdowns. Joe Alt, All Pro right tackle, no sacks allowed, six five to six total pressures. J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards combining for seventeen total touchdowns. J.K. Dobbins figures out his injuries. But Gus Buzz keeps those wheels moving. Rashawn Slater comes the highest paid left tackle in the league. He better. Junior Colson, 90 tackles pairing with Denzel Perryman. These boys can rack up some crazy amount of tackles. And we're going to end the season off with Jim Harbaugh as the coach of the year. And ladies and gentlemen, if you guys haven't put it together yet, and if you made it this far, drop a freaking like and a subscribe on this video because at 11 and 6, your Los Angeles Chargers will be a playoff team. I'm Two Tone Sports. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I did. I haven't been this excited for a video in a very long time. Hope you guys enjoy. And as always, have a blessed day.